As a radiation communication guy, it's interesting to me that 3.6 Rentgen is now probably the most known unit and value of radiation in the world. But do you know what that number actually means? And is it great? Is it terrible? What does the decimeter say? Uh, 3.6 Rentgen, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. First of all, the unit. It is named after a one Wilhelm Rentgen who discovered x-rays all the way back in 1895. In fact, he won the first Nobel Prize in physics ever for doing so. He discovered this even before natural radioactive sources were discovered. The unit itself is defined as the amount of ionization that happens in a certain amount of air. But of course, a certain amount of air isn't human tissue, so now in radiation health physics, we don't use the Rentgen. If you're in the United States, we've swapped it out with the RAD and the REM, which is dose and then equivalent dose for people. And if you're everywhere else in the world, you use the gray and the sievert. Again, dose and then equivalent dose inside your body. If you take that 3.6 Rentgen and you convert it to units that care about human tissue, you get about 34.6 millisieverts per hour. That is not great, not terrible. The show is correct about that. What? The lower limit for where you start to get an increased lifetime risk of cancer from radiation is about 100 millisieverts in an acute time frame. So at 3.6 Rentgen back in 1986, you'd be able to work in that environment for a couple of hours. For example, in 2011, when the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant melted down several times, its limit for its recovery workers was 250 millisieverts. So if you rotate in and out workers, you spread out their time over days and weeks, they could and did operate in 3.6 Rentgen-like rates. Of course, today we know it wasn't 3.6, it was more like 10,000 or more Rentgen per hour. And because of this, 28 workers at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986 died of acute radiation syndrome. It's not through Rontgen. It's 15,000. I know this is kind of a bummer to end on, but now you're less delusional about the radiation, right? It's delusional. <laughs>